Welcome to 1465 Clayton Street. We are in the Congress Park neighborhood today in Denver, Colorado. This is a lovely building with, I believe, six units um, with some very spacious, spacious units inside. Um, there is some parking that comes with the building, but they've all been rented. So currently it would be on street parking. It would just depend on your move-in day. If anything opens up, you can certainly let the office staff know if you're interested in acquiring a spot. If one opens up, let's head on inside. So this is a secure building with an intercom system here. So your guests can ring your doorbell from out front. This is the mail room here. We'll go down to the laundry room and then the outdoor courtyard. Oh, wait a minute. There is a storage locker that comes with this unit. It's a pretty good size one. It would be a number one right here. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. I'm not sure if I could turn my flashlight on, but um, there are um, shelves in here all the way around. I would say it's probably six by six or something feet. Um, nice storage area, which also stays locked. Same key as the entrance key. You have community laundry. It is coin up, $1.50 to wash, $1 to dry. There's some bicycle storage in here. Um, if needed, it would be okay, but you do have your storage unit, or of course your regular unit. Out back, someone will be here very shortly to clean this up. I love that someone has started a little bit of a garden here, but there is a community outdoor space here just to sit and relax, a community grill. Nice to have a little outdoor space. And then we will head up to number one. We're going to be looking at a two bedroom, one bath vintage unit in here. So we have original hardwood floors in here. This is actually really spacious. Very spacious here. You could have your living room, dining room, and maybe even set up a little home office space if you'd like. Look at those huge windows. Good amount of natural light, but not overpowering. At least not today. It's a little overcast here in Denver, Colorado. Total vintage, vintage, love the checkered flooring. Wait till you see the tile in the bathroom. Oh, there's even a window in the kitchen. So you have refrigerator and electric stove. For a smaller kitchen, you have a ton of cabinet space. I love that open shelving there to show off your beautiful bowls or knickknacks or maybe even some little plants since you get some light from there. Probably put some sort of shelving unit in the corner there if you needed a little makeshift pantry or even um, like a, a rolling island with a cutting board or something to get some additional space maybe. So a dining room if you choose to use it that way. You do have a um, portable air conditioner that comes with the unit. There's one ceiling fan in here too to help circulate the air. Okay, let's go to the vintage bathroom. Yellow tile, sunshine. Makes me happy, that same checkered tile in the bathroom. You have some open shelving and a medicine uh, cabinet. This is a really good sized linen closet. It's pretty deep. Nice shower head over there. And the, here's the hallway, so the bedrooms are separated by a hall closet. Let's look at that. Goes back a little deep too with the shelf. Not bad. 
All right. This is more of a uh, rectangle shape unit. Looks like a standard closet in here. Another large window. I think that's the buzzer from the um, front. And then this unit is definitely the larger of the two. So is there, there is one larger bedroom than the other here. That makes a difference. You have, uh, the building is on a boiler, so the owner pays for the heat you would only be responsible for electricity in addition to rent. There is a dumpster out back for trash. And this closet is a good size. Each side has a clothing rack and a shelf. One more view of how spacious this is inside. One more quick peek at the kitchen. You could put that portable AC wherever you'd like. Thanks for watching.